Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is the How to Use Harmer series, brought to you by Sonic Academy. In this series, we'll be talking about how to use Harmer, as it is aptly described. Uh, this first video is going to be about what concept of synthesis that Harmer uses. You may be familiar with the idea of subtractive synthesis. You may be familiar with the idea of FM synthesis. You may even be familiar with the idea of wavetable synthesis. But this one is all about additive synthesis. What is additive synthesis? Additive synthesis is, as a super basic descriptive level, is about creating sounds out of individual sine wave harmonic partials. And what that means, if I play a note, for example, let's play it longer. Yeah. So that's a saw wave. Now, that wasn't the, that wasn't the recording of a saw wave. That wasn't an actual, like, a single cycle of a waveform that was a saw wave. This was 516... Well, I don't know actually know how many that was at the top there, but it was a lot of harmonic, uh, individual sine wave harmonics, and one sine wave fundamental. What is a harmonic and what is a fundamental? The fundamental is essentially the lowest tone in the stack. That's the note of whatever you're playing. It's the sub frequency. If you're playing a bass, for that is, that is. Um, I guess technically that's true for you know whatever. But anyway, point being is it's the bottom frequency, and then you have partials which are above it. And that they're they are harmonic, which is to say they are multiples of the fundamental. It's important that they are this, that this idea of harmonic is 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 understood because if you ever made a respace, something like that, which I just did by playing two notes together, um, the, you experience this idea of phase cancellation. Phase cancellation happens when you have a you have two tones, be the be them saw waves, be them sine waves and they're not in a harmonic position. If they're really close together, you get that kind of, like, you know, you can actually see how fast the phase cancellation is, which is called a uh, beating, by the way. And um, the thing about harmonics is that they're in a position where they do not do that. They do not phase cancel. And this adds to the sound overall. And so if you if you look at this as a, at a per harmonic level, Keyboard track. Come on. There it is. So we have, you know, the one sine wave, the fundamental. And to build a saw wave, we have to use what's called the Fourier series. And the Fourier series is just this idea of you each octave because it is a double, then half again, half again, half again, that whole thing. It's basically this concept behind how string instruments work. Because if you play, if you put like a length of wood and you put a string across it, half halfway across the uh, of through the string is going to be the octave of that string note, and then half that again is going to be the fifth, and half that again is going to be a third, and then you keep doing halves and halves, and you basically you, you come up with you know a reasonable uh, scale, and it's some some you know versions of that are different, but the uh, that's the basic idea of that concept. And that idea has actually existed long before any kind of form of electronics that this has existed. There's actually a lot of uh, like math around using things like the Fourier series. There are other series. There are other uh, things to work on, but a saw wave is just that. So if I wanted to add that, uh, I would put in a first the first harmonic, which is an octave. The second harmonic, which is the fifth. The third octave would uh, third harmonic, which is an octave. And then the next octave worth of harmonics, which I think I did right, uh, is actually more. And the fun fact about the, the the how many harmonics per octave is that each in, next octave has twice as many harmonics than the, than the octave previous. To the point where the final octave of harmonics in any set is going to actually have h half of all the harmonics that are in the whole series. So that's pretty neat. And it also means that each octave's worth of harmonics is basically required. You have to have twice as many harmonics. So if I wanted one more octave out of this, I'd have to have all of these harmonics again. It'd be, you know, a thousand harmonics instead of 500. Although this probably isn't 500 because it's not. Yeah, that's, that's 500. 516. That's the whole set. Higher harmonics obviously get cut off, but at any given moment, the maximum amount of harmonics you can have in Harmer is 516. So that's the idea of additive synthesis, is building a, sh a sound or shape out of individual sine wave harmonics. Um, now, the whole idea of not phase canceling is the, it was what you do when you're doing a, a saw wave, but most, other, most sounds have some form of phase cancellation in there. They're not perfect. And 
with the control that you have over each individual harmonic, because that's actually how harmonic works. Each harmonic is kind of it's all over the universe. And then it's, it's get, it gets specific instructions about its phase, amplitude, and pitch, which create the sound. So, for example, with this idea, if we know enough about the harmonic content of a sound, we can recreate that. Do it, do it. Like so. Do it, do it, do it. This is, this is an example of reset this is, which we'll get more into detail of um, in, far, in further videos, but this is just an example to, to demonstrate that if we break everything down into this harmonic content, we can recreate it. So this sound, for example, Do it. it looks an awful lot and it sounds an awful lot like we're playing an audio file, but we're not. It's called image reset this is because what it's doing is that this picture we're seeing is the harmonic content. And if we zoom in really far, we can see these black lines, which represent essentially a little sample of harmonic content in time. Do it, do it, do it, do it. If I were to go to one of them, that particular moment in time had that harmonic content. If I go to the next one, that particular moment in time had that harmonic content. And then it's essentially crossfading between the two moments. Now you can see this isn't quite like actual crossfading because you, uh, it's a little bit difficult to tell. But when I move a lot of them, you can see that the harmonics are not just fading in and out, but they're also moving. They're moving from one position to the next, and that's actually something that makes uh, Harmer different from, say, wavetable synthesis. Although you get something like wavetable synthesis can be done, and also some wavetable synthesis utilizes harmonic crossfading, like Serum. Serum has an option for that kind of thing, or spectral. It's, it refers to it as spectral crossfading. Um, this this combination of movement and even sampling, because it's not it has nothing to do with uh, single cycle size has everything to do with just looking at individual content for a particular scale of time. That combination creates do it, do it. practically perfect re recreation of the sound itself. And that's true for any sound. And it's also true that if you know, like even without this, if you can, if you can, you can configure Harmer's various parameters and things and movements to put harmonics in a particular position that re re like mimics a sound that you're trying to recreate and it will make that sound if you know enough about it um, and that's essentially the power and the point of additive synthesis is that you're controlling individual harmonics to move into positions that you want because you have full power from the ground up over what the sound is doing which is actually kind of a lot of responsibility when you're not used to having that kind of power but with great power comes with great responsibility and i'll be teaching you all about how to have the most power so you best be ready for responsibility anyway following videos we'll be describing more about the things like layout and how the filters work and how the individual things work and stuff like that when you're done with the whole series you will know how to use harbor if you have any questions about this please let me know and as usual have a nice day moving on